Yo right guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Project and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to paint this um, Death Guard Plague Marine in the contrast colours. Um, yeah, I, I uh, uploaded a picture last week on social media and found that I got a, you know a lot of good feedback from it and people were pretty impressed. So I thought, why not make it into a video? So I primed this in the contrast colour Wraith Bone and then we're going to obviously use Skeleton Horde as a first layer to do the armour. So let's shake this up right now and sort this out. So I just use it straight from the pot, which is what you meant to do. Um, wet my brush, just using the size 2, like a Kalinsky Sable. And then we're just going to load it on here like this. And literally, this takes minutes. Obviously, it's harder painting with, um, with a camera in front of you, um, which is obviously may mean that I'm going to, might go over, you know, go over on the different parts. Which I'm going to try not to because I don't really want to do any fixing on this. I just want to get it all painted in one go. So, also, I'm not going to do any metallic colours on this. I'm going to use all contrast. But what I probably will do, because I'm going to use this for my, my whole Death Guard army now, but what I will do, I'm going to come back over it and do metallics. I'm not, I'm not really into that non-metallic look. So as you can see, I'm getting it all into all the nooks and crannies. It's probably sipping, sinking in there. And I'm, I'm sort of using a thick coat, but I'm not, if that makes any sense, which probably doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm basically, in comparison to what we're advised to use, we, we're never advised to use this amount, are we, when, when painting the model. I'm just using, say, in between a thick coat and a, and a normal coat, shall we say. And on some parts, I am spreading it a lot further. I'm still getting used to the, using this paint, to be honest. But it's all practice, isn't it? Practice makes perfect. And as we can see, that's pulling a little bit down here on the bottom. So we're going to try and get some of that into there because I don't really want a massive pool. Really. I believe you can use the contrast medium to, to thin these down. Um, I haven't really used it yet. I have got it, but I've not used it yet. Because personally, I don't really want to add any more extra steps. I just want to get it done. Get my army painted on the table, done and dusted. And that's that then, isn't it? You can obviously see me to the side there. What I'm doing with the brush so yeah I'm pretty happy with this paint to be honest and I was getting a lot of negativity online but that's why I thought I'll showcase all my work and hopefully shine a positive light on it so now in this case I'm going to slap it on And obviously there may be parts where I miss. This is just a quick, quick tutorial from mine. Just to show you guys that even slap dashing it on, you get a fairly decent effect. Now it's a bit too much, and then we're going to spot this on this chest plate. And then I'm gonna put a big try and get a big load on his face there. I've uh, cut the little nubbin off on his neck and I've um, put a little bit of glue, glue tack on the bottom of his head because I think when I buy the multi pose kit, I'm gonna use head from that. Hopefully it's that's what it's looking like at the moment. That one really is 
Ça. Donc ça aurait dû être vert. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna throw, throw the brush into the pot and then we're just gonna carry on to the next colour. You do need to be careful with it, like, but let's just get these models painted today, guys. You know, I've, I've had this model probably sitting in its box for a couple of months now. So, these paints are great for that type of thing. If you want to get things painted up quickly, get it done and dusted on the table, you can do then. So there's a bit of that there, there's a little tentacle there, on there. See guys, I'm not really Worrying about the contamination or nothing like that. But yeah, this whole one thick coat, I'm not really sure about that. I just do a thickish coat. You can obviously see how that comes out. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? Not. I've missed a little bit there. Skeleton hold again. Next colour, we're going to do, we'll get the red done next, as you can see I've had a bit of an accident with this, when I've been wearing, now this one's very very thick, and I've got a suspicion that it's replaced blood for the blood gods, it is really really thick, put a fair bit on the brush, Like I said, I don't really want to do any tidying up on this. I need to do the bit underneath the chest, but I'm not going to bother wasting my time in the video now. I'll probably do all the touch up later, but that's that. It's a nice red, very vibrant. It's a flesh tear is red, by the way, guys. That's that done. I think we're on 10 minutes up to our, maybe less. What's this next colour? Snake bite leather, we'll do that next. In fact, yeah, we'll do the snake bite leather next. So, snake bite leather. I'm only going to use you a little bit on the little wrap on the gun, the bolt out. Too much. And a bit of wood there as well. shoulder pad. So obviously we don't want all the bones the same colour, do we? It just gives a bit of different colours to work with. Okay. Oh, 
full focus. That's that part done. Next, we're going to use. Now, I did use Black Templar's bolt for the Black Templar for the gun last time, but I'm going to use Mechanicus Grey this time. Let's see what this looks like. Give it a good bloody shake. And then we're going to. This is a brand new pot. Load this on now. And if you've missed any little parts, ah, see that's that's collecting there, it's joining together, blending to, together. Put a bit on there. And I'm not gonna fix this, guys. I'm not gonna worry about fixing things. Use this under chainmail as well. But like I said, I'm going to go over this in a different colour. Well, these are these. Sugar. Put it on this power armour. And then, up there. and then we're going to use it on this little thing here. Icon. And then the top of his head as well. And that is how to paint Plague Marine in literally minutes. I'm going to wait until it dries and I'll show you in a minute guys and you can let me know what you think of it. Alright, see you in a second. So guys, as you can see, the model's completely dry now and as far as I'm concerned in a way it looks pretty decent you now obviously once I start adding metallic colors to it it will look even better but literally as you can see this video is probably about 10 minutes long taking out all the intro and anything like that and it, it in my opinion it's a tabletop standard and it looks good enough I know I've showed a lot of my customers and a lot of friends this and they've all said the same thing it does look good so obviously the bulk gun the grenade the spike on his head um, the trim, all this part here, that's all going to go in metallics and the mesh at the back. Uh, I think once that's done, it will look good. So guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried the contrast paints? What do you think of it? Do you think it's any good? And, uh, and I'll see you soon. Nice one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Draw.